on Saturday, we got to the track and the weather was actually looking kind of starting to look promising. It was a little patchy, a little strange to drive, but we were making uh, pretty decent runs. And I lined up to chase my buddy, Rome. I chased Rome and I just felt comfortable. But when I initiate, something gripped up in the car and I slammed like head on into the K rail. And it honestly, I clenched like I was going in it with probably a maximum speed we have at this track. And I knew when the car got disrupted, I'm going in with the nose of the car. It's never a fun feeling seeing the wall come right at you. And that's exactly what happened. I honestly thought the car's totaled, the car's done. When I looked at it after that run, it's it's borderline totaled. I mean, the frame rail's bent, the engine's slightly sitting in there crooked. The thing got thrashed. My guys and a bunch of the Falcon Tire teammate dudes just jumped in and thrashed. So uh, you know, I've known Odie for a long time and every time I see someone that's in need, I, I always just try to see if they need any help and I saw that he needed some help. So I just jumped in there and you know, got dirty and fixed what I saw what I had to do and and uh, you know just jumped in and started working on it and I'm working on it and the power steering is just gushing everywhere and I start taking it apart and they steer the wheel over power steering gets all over me just all on my face down my arms dripping just keep working you know what I mean you just got to keep doing what you got to do help out luckily we had so many guys jump in on top of my team members we had dice guys we had uh, Justin Pollock's guys, Justin Pollock himself, and uh, Matt's guys all jump in. And there's so much damage on the car. Everyone that jumped in needed to do something. There's so much to do that everyone grabbed tools and everyone had something to attack. Uh, I don't know how realistically we, we pulled it off because as we got closer to pulling it off, we found more damage. You know, we were getting to a point where we we're putting the wheels on the car, about ready to set it down, and then we realized uh, there's just so much damage that there's something internally not letting the car actually turn. Like things were binding and got the thing back on track. And I was able to run with confidence with Dean Carney in top 32. I made some mistakes. Dean Carney made some really big mistakes. Uh, we both made mistakes in the first run actually that were pretty equal. So we got it one more time. We went again and yeah, I was, I was leading. I was having a great run. And honestly, I like the motor with a lack of supercharger, the fact that we have to quickly retune it, had a bit of a hiccup in the outer zone three. And I just couldn't recover. I literally have to bump start it coming out of outer zone three while I'm drifting. That was a big fumble. But I look back and Dean, uh, Dean Carney completely shut down. So we both zeroed out on the first run. We, uh, we went to go a run again and Dean couldn't make it to the line. I guess he had some big malfunction in his car. I was lucky to get that, you know. I felt confident going again with him because the car, I was getting used to it's running good, but deep down I got a lot of luck as well. I was happy just to advance into top 16 because I knew one of the guys that is like really running strong for the championship is also not gonna advance past top 16. So at least I knew, hey, if we can't put it together in top 16, it's a guarantee that one of the guys running for the championship isn't going to be able to put together either. And yeah, it just, uh, it felt good. But when it was time to go, I was a bit nervous. The track completely dried up. We're down on power. The car isn't hundred percent. I kept telling myself, it's good. It's good. Just charge as hard as possible. And I did. I charged really hard in top 16 with Vaughn. I got to follow, which I kind of enjoyed following him first because I kind of got to feel out the car and in the lead run, it's perfection. When you're following, you could pull the handbrake a few more times, it doesn't hurt. When it was time for me to lead, I just went as hard as I could. We obviously had a little less speed in the car, a little less power. I did everything I could. I put the car, I felt like, everywhere that it needed to go. Probably one of my better runs this whole weekend, actually. But we were down on speed because we were down on power and Vaughn got the run. You know, he was clean behind me. I guess he did a really good job. My spotter's like, hey, Odie, that was a, Amazing lead run, but Vaughn did an amazing chase. So I knew before they called it that it was going to be Vaughn advancing. I trust my spotter and uh, not really bummed out about it. I'm bummed out that I crashed up the car really bad. But you know, sometimes you need these challenges to really kick you into gear and not get comfortable. So we're going to go thrash hard on the car tonight. We're going to bump the power back up. We'll find a way to hook up that Vortex supercharger and I'll be out here tomorrow for uh, round four, slinging as hard as possible.